Hi there everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Today I'm demonstrating the Playing in the Rain suite. This suite called me the second that I saw it in the new mini catalogue and that's because I have my own cuddly cute little tortoise. Here you go, this is Squirt. So as soon as I saw that he featured in this set and he was in the papers and he's just gorgeous. I had to get it. So the set is in the new mini catalogue, here you go. There are stamps, coordinating dies, there are daisy embellishments, there is an embossing folder that has got raindrops on and then there is the gorgeous paper which I'm going to run through and show you. I'm not paying too much attention to the catalogue because I know this video is going to go out worldwide and I just have the UK details in there but you can find all the details from my store. So you've got this gorgeous little tortoise, as I said, he is definitely my favourite. And then you've got the fox with the umbrella, the rabbit playing in the puddle, you've got some umbrellas. It's very much a rainy set, but I think it's a happy rainy set. So I'm really looking forward to getting going with that. And then you've got the coordinating dies for all of these pieces. So you can see I haven't opened these up yet. This is the first time of showing you these. And it's also the first time of running through the paper as well. So the dies have so much more in them than just what is in the stamp set. So you'll notice there is the dies that cut out the tortoise, the fox and the bunny. But you've also got these cute little extras. So you've got a um, bow tie, you've got the clouds, you've got kites, you've got a bridge. You know, you could build any of these up, some butterflies. There really is such a lot that you can use with these dies to make a scene, which is great. And then let me show you the paper. The paper is amazing. It's got a waxed effect, really cute. And when you actually start to move it, you can see the waxed detail. So on this one, the clouds are the waxed detail. So it sort of shines. And then the background is these just gorgeous patterned pieces. So over the top of his jacket, he's waxed. Hopefully I'm going to move it so you can actually see it on the camera. Um, and I don't know if you can see what the flower on the tortoise is. You get a nice gleam from them. This has got the raindrops that's waxed as well. All of them, they feel really fun, um, but they are really shiny and really cute. So it's very good DSP. And the paper feels thicker than normal DSP paper. I don't know whether that's because of the wax effect that's on them, but I thought they felt very sturdy and quite good. So if you're going to use bags and boxes and 3D projects, this is the paper for you. It's perfect. So I'm going to be creating two different cards today. Let me show you them. So the first card is going to be created using my gorgeous tortoise, which I have nicknamed Squirt. You know, so it matches my Squirt. And I'm going to ink up my stamp, push him down, and then I'm going to give him a good colouring in. So I'm going to be using my stamping blends here. I'm using four different greens. These are Mossy Meadow, Dark and Light, Old Olive, Dark and Light. I'm starting with the darkest, going to the very lightest, and then I'm just going to build the colour up in between, okay? So I put them in order so that you could see which ones I was using first. And once I've got the main part of his shell done, I'm then going to come in and I'm going to do the middle part of him. So this is Crumb Cake, Dark and Light. And you can see that I'm just really working over that to build the colour up. I'm going over it two or three times. Next bit in is the skin tone blends. So this is the 700, the 800 and the 900. And again, you can see how I'm building them up, going over them. And I'm going to keep building them until that colour is how I want it. And then I've got light and dark soft sea foam. But I've also bought in light smoky slate just so I could get some grey going on his shell. And then light flirty flamingo, dark daffodil delight and light mint macaron for his eyes. And I've die cut him out separately. I'm now going to be using my embossing folders. I love these ones. They're the mini ones, the splatter and the stripes. And I'm going to be using the stripes just on a strip of basic white cardstock. So my main cardstock here is 10.5 centimetres by 14.8. And I have cut a 10.5 by 7 centimetre panel out and embossed that for the middle. I'm now going to be playing with the DSP. I'm going to be playing with this cute splatter effect one. This is Mango Melody and Flirty Flamingo. And I absolutely love it. 
and I'm just going to cut myself a little strip out here. So I'm going to cut it at one and a quarter inches. And then because I want to get all of the colour, you can see I'm going to be cutting my ten and a half centimetres from the middle section so that I get both the flirty flamingo and the mango melody. And it's going to sit on the card quite nicely. What I did do, um, which I didn't want to do, but I did, is I actually cut some thinner pieces so I could see how they looked on the card instead. However, for the finished card, I did decide to go with the thick piece. So I cut thick first. I should have just stuck with it. I'm then going to be using my lovely shapes and I'm going to be using this gorgeous circle which has got the embossed circle in between and this is going to be for my um, sentiment. I'm just going to run that through the die cut machine. You can see that embossed circle on there. So now I'm going to bring my card back. Like I said, um, I decided to use the bigger piece but I will be doing that later. And I've got these gorgeous flowers from the stamp set now. I'm going to pop these towards the top and I'm going to be using grey granite because I don't want it to be obvious. I just want them to be some background detail so I'm not a basic, basic white background. So I'm just popping them up there. And then I'm going to be popping that piece of paper over the bottom of them anyway so it's not going to be that obvious. But finally, I'm going to be using my edge dies with some vellum. So I've got these. I'm going to run them through. And I'm just going to be using this one here that goes up and down, up and down. And it's got the stitching on the sides as well. There we go. Stick that down and then stick my panel on top. Now, I stuck my vellum at the very bottom so that I'm covering up the sticky piece so that you won't be able to see where the glue is. And now I'm coming in with my DSP strip and I am cutting along there. No rhyme or rhythm. I'm just ribboning the ends so they look frayed. And then I'm going to push them a little bit in. OK, so once I've stuck it down over my card, you can see that I'm just being a bit rough on the edges just to make it the same length as the card, but to really give some texture. There's my die cut circle and I'm going to be putting some loops with the twine. So this is the gold thread that's in the catalogue. I'm going to be adding some adhesive on there. I've done three loops. I'm going to stick it down. And then I'm going to pull all the loops so they're separated to give me a really cool effect underneath, okay? Now, they don't always go where you want to go, so you can use adhesive to get it in that place. You'll see me do it in a minute. I'm adding my sentiment, oh, happy day. And the adhesive I'm going to be using is our foam pads, okay? So I have used these previously, and I've got a little square of them left. So I'm going to be sticking this down eventually when I get the backing off. <laughs> And I'm just going to pull my twine to where I want it. So you can see it's actually stuck it down where I want it. I put the sentiment on and I've got the twine all the way around now. Finally, I'm going to stick on Squirt. He's been die cut. And I'm just going to place him towards the bottom right, just off the circle. How cute's that? I love this set. I really do. I think it's so much fun. I'm going to add it to my base card stock. And because the front of the card is the same size as the base, you're not going to be able to see a frame. And I'm just adding it on using some of our adhesive foam again so that it's really stuck up and it looks really good. Peel that off. Stick it down. And then finally, I'm just going to add some embellishments on to finish. So we've got these new... Um, gems they're lovely really nice I'm just going to be taking a couple of these and adding them onto the card so they've got them in this sort of flirty flamingo calypso corally type color which goes really nice with my card and I've added those on and there is card number one done really simple I thought so my second card is going to still be using the plane in the rain stamp and I'm going to be using this DSP in the background. This is the umbrella DSP. And I'm going to be using the fox with the umbrella this time and the rain. Okay, so for the DSP, this is the waxed one that I was telling you about earlier. Look, look at it go. It, it, honestly, I don't think I can tell you how much I love this DSP. It's so brilliant. Let's get started. First up, you're going to need a, another piece of scrap basic white. And then you're going to be wanting to add the ink onto your stamp and stamp him down. So I've done my fox. 
I'm going to be colouring him in and I've used um, Old Olive Dark and Light so it kind of matches how the umbrellas are done on the DSP and I'm well and truly going over that. I want to keep adding and building up the colours and I'm going over with Dark Soft Seafoam just to blend them all in together. My yellows are Dark and Light Daffodil Delight and Dark So Saffron. Okay, and you can see that I keep going over that to build that up and I've got a real shading going on because I've used the dark on the left hand side. My colours for my fox are light and dark Cajun craze with light pumpkin pie. I missed out dark pumpkin pie because I really didn't want him orange. I wanted him more still brown, but I did want to get that blending in with a lighter colour. So I've used light pumpkin pie instead and that's just given me a, a hint of orange but the majority of him is still brown. Don't forget his ears and his hands, because that's what I forgot. And then the tail I've just done with light so saffron. I'm gonna die cut him out, and there he is. Those dies fit perfectly, they're really handy. And we're popping him onto another piece of base cardstock. So this is going to be 10.5 by 14.8 as it was previously. And I'm cutting an inch and a half strip of DSP to add to this. Now this is my top tip. So if you're cutting DSP, cut it to the width you want it, but don't cut it to the length you want it. Okay, exactly the same with cardstock. So I've got a bit of old olive cardstock here that I'm going to be using with this project. And you'll see I've cut it to half an inch, but I haven't cut it to the right length. So I'm going to stick it flat at the one end and go up. And exactly the same with the DSP, stick it flat at the bottom end and have it hanging over at the top. The reason this is a top tip for me is because it's always easy to cut your DSP to your card size like this than to add DSP on. And no matter how much you think you remember the measurements, you can always be a couple of millimetres out and it's much, so much better and accurate to do it this way around. I'm using my large circle layering die here to get a piece of basic white and I'm using the largest scallop die with the old olive cardstock to create a matte behind it and I'm just going to stick that down and that's going to have my gorgeous fox on isn't he adorable um first of all I had thought about putting the sentiment in the circle but I've now decided he's going to sit in the circle so instead what I'm doing is I'm adding some balmy blue rain dots onto the background here love these think they're really cute and they just go quite nicely because that little bit of the umbrella has got balmy blue on so it matches Crinkle seam binding, I'm adding this to the card and wrapping it round. I'm cutting it short so that when I wrap it round, it will just be sort of an inch either side rather than the whole lot. I don't like waste. And then I'm going to adhere this now and put it straight onto the backing of my cardstock. So this is just a normal A6 card. And I'm going to stick that on top. My circle and my fox is going to go towards the bottom there so I just want my sentiment rainy days are better with you I love this sentiment I think it's really cute and I'm just adding it to a strip of scrap basic white that I've got stamping that down and I'm just going to cut it so that it's a rectangle tag I'm not doing anything fancy because I think the rest of the card speaks for itself and that's going to go at the top there so I'm using dimensionals to make sure that everything's popped out so first of all a few on my scallop circle stick that one down then a few on my fox to make sure that he's stuck down well and he's stuck onto the circle. And then I'm going to add a few on behind the sentiment. Finally, I'm going to create myself a faux bow with the crinkle seam binding. So that's just where you create a bow in your hands. So it's just a flat bow. Cut it down to the size and length you want it. And then adhere it onto your ribbon that you've already put on the card so for anyone looking it looks like that ribbon at the back has been pulled into one bow at the front even though I know it hasn't I faked it but it works quite well for me and I'm just going to stick that around the circle and there you go finally I'm finishing off with some embellishments from the same set and this time I'm using the balmy blue ones because they match the project quite nicely and that's the card done so there you are, the Playing in the Rain suite from the new mini catalogue. Two cards created, 
love both of them truthfully and don't tell squirt i think the fox is my favorite you'll have to let me know but it's such a gorgeous sweet you can buy this sweet and anything else from the mini catalog or from my store slim and stylish .net. the details are at the bottom of this video and also in the description bar hopefully you've enjoyed this please do like comment and subscribe and i will see you all again soon have a lovely day everybody bye